another podcast, another drink. You know what it is. Got my dog Cash flowing coming on. Oh yeah, I see you dog. I'm about to add you right now. What's going on, man? How you doing? The work. That must yeah, I'm blessed, man. Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Can you hear me good? Yeah, I can hear you good. Bad, bad, bad. Now, his, uh, my uncle going to be streaming on his, on his end, so he's going to go ahead and put this on uh YouTube and everything else once we're done. Okay, most up, most up. All right, bad, bad, bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see you got the smoke. I got the drink. We all good. <laughs> Pink, right? Good pinks, right, man. Oh yeah, for sure, man. What's you, man? It's episode twenty-two, man. Shy versus everybody podcast. We got cash flow. Is it Kevo? It's cash flow, Kevo. Kevo. Okay, I want to make sure I say that shit right. All right, man. We usually start me on some positive shit, man, because you know we got this virus going on, dog. So we got this shit that we call salute me while I'm here. For the most part, man, I got it from um just people passing away, dog, and niggas just be waiting until they to say like, you know, what I'm saying you appreciate a motherfucker. Yeah. So shit. With the host, salute me while I'm here, man. Just pick somebody, you know what I'm saying, who you salute. Give them their flowers while you can still smell them. Man, uh, be honest, man. I'm going to salute everybody from my camp, man. From Prince Remy to 89 Hoodrow to Lil Vante, 89, 89 AP, TR, um, 192, Stephen B. The Great, man. We, we, we working, man. You know what I'm saying? And it's for sure. At a, at a time like this, you know, people that's very, you know, powerful or, you know, have a lot of power, you know, and I even power, you know, have a lot of talent or good things happening, man. It's a sad thing to see a lot of these people down. So, man, most, hell yeah, man. This shit, this shit crazy for real, bro. Yeah, most definitely, man. It's wild, man, but you got to keep our heads up. You know? Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure, man. Uh, so, shit, man, growing up, dog, where you, where you from, man? From the east side, west side? I know, but what people don't know. Yeah, man, I'm straight off Dexter, man. West Side, you know. West Side. Um, yeah, you know. Seen a lot of shit, you know. Dexter Ave, you know. But you know, we we warriors over there, so we good, man. Real shit. Yeah, man. I, I I never was the type that you know was like, you know, stuck in one spot. You know, like I got family, you know, West One Eighty Nine. You you know, that's what you know. Part of the, the camp that I run with, man. Eighty Nine, the Dark Side, man. It's more like a movement, man. Besides the label, you know. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Everybody that young bosses, you know, we powering each other up and we just moving forward, you know. Shit, you got to, man. Well, shit, man. The Beyond days, man. Growing up, man, on Dexter, man, like dog. Moms and dads was in the pit. Was, was they together? Brothers and sisters? How, how was the uh, household? Uh, 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 um, you know, Pop, she wasn't fair, but you know, moms, you know, she was handicapped, but you know, she did what she had to do, you know, to um. Keep the household up, you know. That's my, that's my, place, you know. And uh, at a young age, you know, I had to become the man that, that locked the house early, you know. So, hell yeah, I, I already know what that. I already know how that shit is, dog. Shit, my pops passed away at thirteen, so shit it was just me, my mom, and my little brother. So you know, you got grow quick, bro. Yeah, and then you know, once my granny she passed when I was around sixteen, so it was like after that, you know, it was like it was lock in mode, you know. And then uh, For sure. I had to lock in, you know. Once yeah, I, yeah, she went, what, what high school you went to? Northwestern High School, but Northwestern. Yeah, when I did go to school. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dog, I already know, I already know, dog. See, I just told a story the other day about how, I, nigga, I barely graduated for real, for real, dog. <laughs> I was on, I was on some bullshit, dog. Yeah, I went back to job corps, you know, got my GED and stuff, you know. I did that. Moms, you know, moms wanted to see me excel in life. You know, I feel like all the things that she went through, having a stroke for me to be alive and everything else, you know, I felt like it was only right that, you know, I put forth the effort, you know, do that for moms. So. Hell yeah, got to, got to, dog. I still be thinking about going back to school my damn self, but that shit, that shit hard getting that school focus going, dog. School ain't for everybody. Yeah, man, I feel you, man. You know, it's, for me, man, you know, it's full force, man, with this music shit right now, man. I, I got an EP out right now. So far, so good on the way. 89 Hoodrow, he got medicated volume one in stores now. You know, um, you hear me? In stores now. Mm -hmm. Got videos, you know, Don't Break Me Down, 89 Dark Side. You know, like, we just working right now. We 
Yeah. Hell yeah, I'm, de I'm definitely going to touch on that, dog, because I was listening to the project. Motherfucker was fire. I ain't just saying that shit just because you on the podcast. Like, that shit was for real, legit, though, for real. Definitely, most definitely. Shit, uh, stay on the rap shit, dog. Who was, uh, who was some rap niggas you, gr you grew up listening to, man? Oh, uh, Blade. I want to say Blade. Okay. Uh, Jay Z, Fifty Cent, Fabulous, Jada Kiss, Lil Wayne. <coughs> you know, like <coughs> no disrespect to Detroit artists, <coughs> but you know me growing up, I seen a lot of artists was like clones of other artists. Oh, nigga, we just talked about that shit for man for real. <laughs> and, you know, I, <laughs> I push myself, you know, every song, you know, not only me but the camp, you know, we push ourselves. Every song, every ad lib, the you know, to sound different, to be different. Yeah, know? man, because I say that shit, man, I forgot who I had on the show, man, but it's like, you could say it's a Detroit sound, or you could say niggas just on some copycat shit, like, it's, oh, it's easy to sound like somebody else because you think that the city gonna like you or you get embraced instead of having your own your own sound, you know? And I feel like most people, especially, you know, these younger guys, they scared for difference and different embrace. Yeah. I mean, like, it's easy for a nigga to put on some buffs, Get a couple bitches to twerk they ass about selling drugs and shooting niggas. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, it is. When you actually use the thing, you know that's inside your fifty, your fifty nine fifties. You know, <laughs> and, you know, put that towards your pen. You know, that's why I feel like as an artist, you separate yourself from other artists. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, that's like me, dog. I do, uh, I do music too, man. That's the whole, the whole thing behind the uh, podcast. I started off doing the music shit, and it's like, dog. I always wanted to make sure I gave niggas my. My true story, my real shit. Like, I'm not gonna lie and say I was on the block because shit, I was on the block. I knew niggas who did that shit. I knew niggas on the block for real, but I wasn't that nigga. Yeah, I mean, I ain't gonna say it self incriminate myself. No, no, for sure. No, I, I, it was times I had to do what I had to do, you know. Hey, 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 shit, nigga, there ain't no, ain't no, hey, sometimes you just gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do for real. Oh, definitely. For me, I knew I, I had that shit in my heart, dog. I, I couldn't, I, I knew I couldn't do it. So, nigga, I just stayed, shit, I stayed in the gym hooping or stayed in the crib chilling or, you know what I'm saying, do shit like that. <laughs> no, I I hoop, uh, you know, I play sports, but, you know. Yeah. I, 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 um, I learned early, like, yeah, that ain't me, man. <laughs> <laughs> man, I, I had hoop dreams, but then, nigga, I couldn't get past five eight, so that shit went away. Shit, man, my hoop dreams turned to cook dreams, and after that, you know. Yeah. It was like, you, you ain't know the rest, but, you know, I feel like yeah. I, I thank God that I didn't do music and shit. I mean, I didn't play basketball and I didn't play football. I didn't take it too serious because I feel like I never would have, you know, unlocked my, my true talent, which was music. So. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. Shit, man, I, I was going to talk about some other music shit, but, dog, you being on the west side, you know, I'm from the east side. Just I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of on the west side. Now I'm in Southfield, but my girl on the west, so. I be having to put the GPS GPS system in just to find motherfucking locations on the west side. Like, oh, well, I be yeah, I be like, and the thing is, like, you know how people be like east side versus west side. I never been like that growing up. Like, I no. that you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you know it's like it's a different world when you cross it. You cross that side when you go yeah. over to the east. It's a totally different world. It's just like if you was the east side and you came up to the west side. It's a, yeah, it's a total difference, you know. But that's yeah. that's the the essence and the beauty of our city. Yeah. Where you can go to another half of the city and it's a whole nother culture, whole yeah, nother vibe, you know, like that's that's beautiful, you know. The one and thing I always gave the West Side dog over the East Side was y'all had y'all got better chicks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead, man. No I I mean I can't even say that. I mean, they they it's just a mixture. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure, man. For sure. Anyway. Staying on the uh, whole rap shit, man, growing up. Like, what was the, uh, do you remember the first album you bought, dog, with your own money? Oh, man. The Hunger for More, man, by Lloyd Banks. Man. Lloyd Banks, hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, wait a damn minute. Oh, my bad, we from the east side, my fuck. <laughs> dog, nah, no, nigga, that, whole, that G unit, dog, like, when they first came out, them motherfuckers was hot, dog. Like, man, man Lloyd just, Banks, fuck, man. all the niggas. And I feel like I'm glad that I came out in them eras, you know, when it was more than one just motherfucker and they was a group or a gang or whatever you want to call them. Yeah. But, you know, because a lot of them, they broke up because 
of it wasn't loyalty. Yeah. It wasn't trust, you know. That's why you gotta respect the uh the locks, dog. That's the one group that never broke up for real. And you know that I feel like, you know, my gang is we similar to that. Like, you know, it's loyalty, it's trust, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. It's superstars all down the roster, but Adam Silver couldn't split us up. Hell me? yeah, for real, dog. So you gotta keep that junk. And we no, I swear to God, we was just talking about a lot of stuff, man. Like how what's your take on like when niggas they, they, they come up together with a group, but as soon as they get that name it started being a little beast in, in the in the camps, or, or or somebody leave a management team they was with. Like, what you what your thoughts on that shit, dog? I feel like you know, like I feel like if it's like that, man, it always been some type of hatred or some type of you know feelings towards them. You know, like we all family. You know what I'm saying? Like when one of us, you know, is doing better, and we don't use it like that. You know, that's motivation. Yeah. Like for instance, like eight nine hood drove could drop two CDs. And then now we like, okay, it's go mode. It's time for us to drop two CDs. Oh, yeah. You know, so say like if I drop two CDs, you know, they, they, like, like damn, they going crazy CDs. Then Lil Vante 89 dropped two CDs. And Prince Remy yeah. dropped two CDs. But all through them process, you know, it's no hatred. You know, we promote, you know, we promote each other's music. You know, we push each other to, you know, only greatness, man. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you got to, dog, because, like, you got to think about, like, dog, them old camps, dog, like, remember old cash money, old no limit, like, they was dropping, dropping, dropping. You know what I'm saying? Flooding, flooding this shit, dog. And I feel like because there's only one boss, you know, we all bosses. Mm -hmm. There's there's no under bosses. We all bosses. You know? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. So you grew up, you West Side, uh, so you, look, you looking at that, uh, what's that, uh, Street Street Lords? Sean, I mean, yeah, you know, I used to listen to them. Shout out to you know, Street Boys, KDZ, and all them, dog. Like, to me, KDZ had like one of the hardest, like, I want to say Detroit <coughs> album, dog. Like, from a you know, saying somebody who didn't make it out the, out the city for real, like, that, that, that Detroit, I mean, that DZ album was cold, <coughs> dog. I mean, I, I like the contrast, <coughs> I like the contrast that man. Um, uh, I really truthfully think that, um. Uh, Rock bottom, you know. Um, oh shit! Yeah, hell yeah. He he was one. He was one. He was there, man. He was one of them that, but he could have got signed, man. And I yeah. fucked because you know he he followed the steps that a lot of these niggas don't step don't don't follow, and that was loyalty. He was loyal to rock bottom. Yo, oh, yeah. Ain't loyal to the. You know what I'm saying? True, niggas, true, true. Niggas are turning their back on you for a little bit, but you know, but as long as you ain't like that, you know, and which that's what we follow in my camp. So I feel yeah, like. Man. We should be strong, and that's why we've been going so long. Which Shit, is, man, how, how long you been rapping, dog? When the first time you, uh, you was like, man, I'm going to go ahead and start rapping. When the first time you wrote that first verse or something, man? Real shit. You know, um, I, I, what do you mean? Like, a lot of you niggas be capping out, cap. Yeah. Not, when I first started fucking with music, I used to sing, to be honest. Okay. My in the church choir and shit, and, um, uh, I was a little nigga, too, and, uh, <clears throat> I used to be singing or whatever, and, when she passed, it was like I didn't even go to church. Like cause every time I went there, I thought about her. You yeah. Know? But it was like, uh, you know, the music was something that you know got me through my problems and shit. So yeah. you know, I started listening to rap and I started getting you know more in tune to my rap. And uh, one day, me and little AP, me and eighty nine AP, we was in my mom's van, we were smoking and shit. This back when niggas was smoking Reggie's. <laughs> 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 Rolled up a king, switch up some dog ass Reggie and shit, and uh, yeah, we, <laughs> he just was like, man, you know, we we used to freestyle off niggas beats and shit, and uh, one day he was like, cuz we really could probably do this shit for real, for real, cuz yeah. I looked at him, he looked at me, and we just it was just a go ever since then, like for real. For real. Hell yeah, man, shit, like and yo, you you you, you so you was a little nigga like high school or something like that. Man, probably like middle school going into high school. Like yeah. probably like the eighth grade. Or I really just like, all right, fuck it, I'm gonna spit. Like I really started off like like I used to battle rap niggas, bro. Yeah. Like the Cause you know what I'm saying? We I grew up, you know, in the low in a low poverty household. We didn't have money like that. Yeah, for sure. I go out and battle rap niggas in the neighborhood for a couple dollars. You know what I'm saying? Get my cheese up and shit. Yeah. And uh I just rolled with it, you know what I'm saying? I took it from there, and I just, I never stopped, bro. For real, for real. Yeah. 
Shit, what about that, 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 uh, and it's funny you say that shit that you, uh, you know what I'm saying, you start off singing, because a lot of times, like, dog, when you growing up in the household, most parents, like, ain't even playing no rap music. You growing up off that old school, Temptations, Motown, you know what I'm saying, that, 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 that Al Green yeah. shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you know, my Bob used to play <coughs> that old school music, and I, you know, <coughs> I used to like that shit, you know what, yeah. what I'm saying? Like, <coughs> I used to be want to, like, rap over it, though, like, yeah. <laughs> like real shit, like, and it's to the point now. Like, I I, I like to rap over, you know. So you you'll hear me every once in a while rap over a motherfucking old school beat or something like that, man. But you know, I always try to step outside of the box. You know what I'm saying? I always try. You to got to, you got to, cause you don't want to be that same nigga, that same rapper. You, you predictable. You know what? Every song is gonna be the same shit. You feel me? Yeah. Hell yeah, yeah, but yeah, shit, man. Well, tell me about your first time in the studio, dog. Uh, first time in the stool, man, it was crazy, man, uh, shit, I'm trying to think, what was the first time I got in the stool, I got in the stool? Man, my first time was, my, my shit was trash, bro. <laughs> it was, it was, it, it was trash, but we really was going crazy, but you know, back then it was like, we was like in the basement type shit, you know, with the mic and the computer and niggas ain't really, you know, recite their music, nothing, like we just went straight in, like. Man, that's not me too though, cause it be I be telling you the difference of, of writing your raps at the crib and, and um and rapping it and then getting in the studio with them headphones on, dog. <laughs> the whole the vibe, then you know, it was like as I kept going on, you know, as my career kept going, I started learning new shit. Like, oh shit, this is what it sounded like when you got this little foamy shit around us. Yeah. Oh, right. so, like, Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Like, cause nigga, I remember nigga rapping at my boy Weezy um brother crib dog and. We just in a room, ain't, no, ain't nothing but a room. So, nigga, you got to be completely quiet because you would hear a nigga chewing some shit in the motherfucking session, dog. Like, <laughs> shit was wild, dog, for real. Oh, we like, we be clowning, man. Shit, yeah, motherfuckers drunk. You yeah. in the basement, so motherfucker flushed the toilet. You got to start <laughs> over. Hell yeah, <laughs> nigga, you was going hard, too. You know, and you going hard. You out of breath and shit. Dog, hell no. So now that you, you know what I'm saying? What's some shit that, what's some must-haves that you got to have in the studio? Like, you got, you like to have all your niggas in there. I know you probably got the weed in there, like the drinks. Like, what what, what got to be in your studio session, dog? Uh, you know, I, I can do a session by myself, but, you know, I like to have, you know, the gang with me. You know what I'm saying? You know we got to have some good-ass weed. Yeah. Got to have the, the backwoods, because them bitches, you run out of them bitches too quick. quick yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. 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 And uh, water, cause oh, yeah. nigga, hey, you, nigga be parched as hell after about <laughs> four. Motherfucker bag was about three grams stuff to each one of them. Dog, you for sure need some drink on that, dog. For <laughs> real, for real, nigga. I learned that dog. shit. I'll be bringing about four word bottles in that boy. Not even without smoking. That just cause nigga rapping like you just need some water, dog. And a phone charger. Oh yeah, that, yeah. Cause shit, that, nigga. That phone charger, cause yeah, nigga. So you got so your shit always going dead, bro. <laughs> oh. Most definitely, always. You done yeah. that phone, so we be going, I swear. Yeah. So who is that nigga that can keep it real with you, dog? Like, you know what? Cash flow, your shit ain't sound like that. I, don't, I ain't rocking with that. That don't sound right. You should do that over. Or you, your, 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 your energy ain't right in the studio. Who you got to, you know what I'm saying, tell you that? Oh, man. Like, to be honest with you, the whole camp like that. Like, ain't nobody going to hold you up, you know. Mm -hmm. But if I could just pick one person out of the camp. Yeah. It's my dog Cuddy, man. My dog Hedro, man. Like, yeah. He, he goes, I don't give a fuck. Like, you could be feeling like that shit was the coldest, man. Yeah. He going to tell you, like, nah, bro, you got to be right there. <laughs> and, dog, like, how it make you feel like that? You be like, damn, nigga, I put, my, I put everything in that motherfucking verse, dog. Yeah. Like, but it be, it be love, though. Like, you know, like, because you look at it like a nigga couldn't have said nothing. He could have just let you just go in there, waste your cheese. Spit some bullshit and then go home. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, yeah. like we all put our heart in our craft, and you know, like I feel like he he do it the most out of all of us, and you know, yeah. he, he one that for sure gonna be like, no, nah, bro, I can't even let you do that because <laughs> that's you know that's bro, bro. He ain't even about to let you do that. Hell, sure. man, you be needing that shit though. You don't need no yes man in your corner though. You be needing somebody uh -huh. to tell you like, nigga, like that ain't that ain't oh, it. Bro. <laughs> We ain't got not one of them. I don't Man, know. hell you no, know. you can't. Like even, <laughs> even with this podcast shit, nigga, my uncle be on my head like, dog. Like I be asking, like, nigga, 
let me know with the music. Like, that's the one nigga, my aunt, though, he my producer, too, as far as the podcast. Like, I bring him everywhere because he's going to keep it real with me. He don't give a fuck about my, my feelings, nothing, nigga. <laughs> I mean, you need motherfuckers <laughs> like that, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah, hell yeah. Bro, bro, don't give a fuck. Bro, I'll wake you up. If you like, if you bullshit and you ain't promoing too yeah, hard, yeah. bro, on you. Like, what the fuck is you doing? Like, what, you know. You hell yeah. Info, man. Stop bullshit. So, so shit, man. You've been rapping for a minute. It seemed like, dog, when when did you get comfortable with yourself to be like, dog, I'm I'm nice for real. Like, I can go in that bitch and rap with anybody. Um, to be honest with you, it was like, like, back in the day, like, before I even got in the booth, I used to feel like that. Because, you yeah. know, like, I used to, like, freestyle against niggas. And, you know, afterwards, you know, niggas be like, man, you nice, bro. Like, you yeah. really need to get serious with this shit. Yeah. It was more than of me just converting that type of style of rap into records, you know, that could sell records. Yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> I know you in the freestyle. You say you used to battle rap, dog. I know you fuck with, uh... What's that? He be doing that shit with the URL, Calico and shit from the West. Smack, man. Smack, man. My Calico and them, man. They put on Calico, JC, man. Yeah, hell yeah, JC. Still we no. man. Put known for Michigan, for real. The, first, the, the crazy shit about it, dog, like when I first, I knew about battle rap back in the day that, you know, when Cassidy back in the day and shit like that. But like, when I got on it, like, when I got back hip to it, my first time watching battle rap, it was, I was watching Calico. Bit. They gonna have to give me my bad, good big. They gonna have to give me the, the uh, endorsement or something. Man. <laughs> Any motherfucker back was yeah, yeah, but yeah, but Calico was that first nigga. I was uh, I, I I was peeping in the whole bell rap scene, dog. Then JC, that nigga lyrically, like that nigga be killing niggas too. The only thing that I I, I don't I don't you know got a uh, I don't you know have a thumbs up too far as URL or now nah, I don't even say URL. It's just battle rap leagues, period, man. Yeah. It's like these niggas, they really pick and choose who, you know what I'm saying, who get to shine. You yeah, know? Yeah, hell yeah. And I, I feel like it be people that, you know, that they say lower than the next nigga, but how he lower than him, but he got more, 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 more flows. You know, he got more yeah. lyrics. Like, hell yeah. How yeah. was we, how, like, y'all don't, how was y'all judging this? Yeah, for you real. Know, like freelancing. It's like whoever just dig ride the nigga. <laughs> hell like, yeah. Nigga could have been bullshitting, but just because he made, the crowd go crazy more. He won, like no. Nah. Yeah, the whole shit different. That's why I like old niggas, like like Cassie, dog. That used to be my nigga as far as battle rapping. Like he coming that boy look like a clown now. Yeah, he he I ain't gonna lie, boy booty as hell. It's like Duh. one thing about battle rap, you know, it's it's like it's like rap, man. It's like it's like our field that we in. It's always yeah. evolving. Yep. So it's like if you come in, it's like a nigga ain't hooped in like twenty years, and you about to try to hoop against some new niggas. Fuck they got yeah. new crossovers and shit. They about to yeah. fuck you, fuck you up. Hell yeah. Hell like, yeah. So he be trying to come in here with them new niggas that really done got the, you know, that yeah. got them war wounds and that shit. Like, and then, like, nigga, we know you got bars, nigga, but you, like, you barring us to death. You ain't got no, nah, it's about scheme. It's about different shit. How you say it, how you. No how, delivery. No yeah, nothing. everything, nigga. Your shit just sound like nigga 2002. It sound like you spitting a hot 16, true. Dog, exactly, exactly, dog. Like, why, why you be thinking it'd be hard for, like, a, a cold-ass battle rap nigga to cross over to the hip-hop shit, dog, like, in the rap scene and make a song? Um, uh, I feel like because, you know, just like some of the, the, the regular rappers, you know, like, how they can't cross over to them. Yeah. Out of them battle rappers, they don't know how to cross over to us. I mean, yeah. they don't know how to... Calm down and not yell and format your bars and you know I can't I can't give them the recipe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but, you know. who, 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 we get off this shit. My last battle rap question though, but like, who is who is the three niggas you look at in battle rap? Like, dog, them the them the three nicest niggas. Um, As if you still fuck with like that for real. Are we picking out of uh, out of the city or just period? Just period. Um. You gotta say Sue Surf. Like, yeah, yeah, I, I mess with him. Surf, he be on another planet, man. Yeah, I I mess with Arsenal. That nigga super disrespectful, dog. But I mess with that nigga. I mean, I, I fuck with him, but it's just like some of the shit he be saying, I really don't catch on to. Him. Like yeah. you know, he he get on some backpack corny shit. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, you know, um, Sue Surf, K Shine, like I, I'm nigga, about to say, I, I miss K Shine. Niggas sleep on K, like, man. Yeah, you just I mean, about I to walk, 
you just not about to walk on K Shine. Like, man, he going you gotta you gotta battle him, man. Yeah, for sure. Heck yeah. And, um, I feel like um shit. If I had to pick a third one. Yeah. Um shit. That's hard, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, real shit. That's hard. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I feel like a lot of niggas don't give respect to Chess. Man. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I know, yeah. You know, he, he up and coming in the game, but because yeah, he ain't about what he about what nineteen twenty right now or something. But he, but he, he, he right there with the grown motherfucker. Yeah, for sure. So ain't it's been beautiful shit, that he, he he making his mistakes right now. Early, yeah. Early, go and get him out the way. Go ahead, throw up, choke, whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah. Go get him out the way, and you know it seemed like after he do that, you know. Yeah, a lot of them ain't gonna be able to fuck with, man. Yeah, yeah. So, man, I know you got the uh, so far so good project out right now, dog. But what was your first? What was the first project you put out, dog? Um, shit. Uh, it was a CD by IME, and then after that, um, the shit that I feel like really, like, really got it going, going for real was um, Thrash Gang Volume One. Okay. You know, um, yeah. it was a CD composed of me, 89 AP, 89 Hydro, and Lil Vontae, 89. Yeah, I was just know? about to ask you, though. I know you talk about your camp. I was just about to ask you, do y'all got like a little compilation CD out here or whatever? Yeah, Thrash Gang Volume 1. Um, Thrash Gang Volume 2, you know, on the way. You yeah. know, most definitely. We, we like, like I say, you know, we working, but you know, um, it's more, you know, we just, we just not stopping. You know, everybody, you know, they own boss, you know. So yeah. do you feel like y'all get uh enough support though? Like you feel like you can get enough support being in Detroit or you feel like shit, sometimes you y'all do y'all be thinking like y'all need to move out the city, dog? Um uh, I mean it's like yes and no. Okay. Like I do feel like I get support, but I feel like um not only me, you know, mm -hmm. just Artists, not even artists in my camp. Just artists, period, man. You yeah. know, it's like a lot of people don't give give you the, the just dope, you know, because yeah. they want that spot or whatever. Hey, man, nigga, nigga, hell so yeah. It actually be like a better lyricist than a like you know, like niggas in my camp. Be honest, man. We 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 nicer than a lot of these niggas, bro. Yeah. If yeah. not all of them, but you know, it's. It's niggas, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of my niggas in my camp, man, like, niggas ain't fucking with us, bro. Like, yeah, I feel you, shit. Talk your shit. <laughs> like, 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 man, no, like, real shit. Like, SB, man, got more videos than half of these niggas that these niggas be dick sucking, bro. Like, yeah. food, bro. Yeah, like, we put in a, we, I feel like a lot of times niggas do not get to just do. But, you know, I feel like that ain't, that's just life, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. I'm definitely gonna, uh, gonna listen to your other nigga shit, because, like I said, them niggas, like, Yo, shit was straight. Your other homeboy, I follow. He followed me. I follow him. I damn, I forgot which one it is, dog. But he he nice too. I mean, we on, all nice, man. Hold well, on, but that's the one I know. He on your song, um, uh, um, 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 in the field. Who was that? Oh, Eddie and Hood drop, man. Okay, I, yeah, yeah. I I, uh, I peeped him and stuff. I ain't, I got peeped the rest of y'all, y'all, dog. Y'all nice, man. You know, and that's what I feel like. That's what make us, you know, number one any day is that you know you you got so many different people. But you know, it's it's so different, many vibes and so many different, you know, lanes that you know we do far as music. You know, hell yeah, hell yeah. When when it, we come together, man, we make we make class, bro. No, but that be a shit, dog. That's how I be mad, my homeboy, man. Nigga did some dumb shit, you know. Saying did a little time away, dog. But right when he did that shit, we was like, we was on the way, dog. My nigga, rest in peace, my nigga. Buns on the beats, he's to make our beats, dog. It'd be about eight, seven of us in that bitch, like you said, with the drinks, with the motherfucker food and that mud, like. I be like that shit be it be dope when you can you can uh involve with that shit with your niggas dog. Yeah, I mean cause it's organic then. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? When you with people that you fuck with on the regular, man, when you call like what up though, bro? You seen the motherfucking pistons get blew out by church. <laughs> <It'll be like, laughs> you go to the studio with them, man, that shit organic, man. You know? It is, like, it is. Nigga, it's the that, same niggas in the house playing 2K, bro. Like it's just it's just natural. That'd be the best vibes though, nigga. I ain't gonna lie, dog. Like I ain't even got to come and rap, nigga. Just being in the studio, kicking it with niggas be like the best type of little vibes, nigga. I do that shit any day than going to the motherfucking bar, the club, all that shit. Yeah, but I mean, like, at the same time, you know, we we versatile. Like, 
it could, we could be in a room with 20 different artists, you know, that yeah. we don't know. And we're going to make a classic with each one. Like, huh, next, huh, yeah, next. Yeah. Like, For sure. Like, versatile we are. Yeah. You know? See, what, what, what y'all be doing, like, as far as, like, dog, you know, shit, this day and age, everything is about the motherfucking phone and, and social media, dog. How y'all be getting y'all music out? Do y'all be flooding the social media game? Do y'all be doing the groundwork outside? Like, how y'all be getting y'all shit out there? And we do it all. You know what I'm saying? To be honest, we do it all, man. Yeah, got to. Got to. You follow us on Facebook, on Instagram. We, on anything, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, Twitter. Y'all be out here doing shows and everything like that, too? Yeah, you know. But, you know, it's been a while due to the oh, corona. Nigga, for real. That's messing up a lot of stuff right now. For real, for real. Yeah. <laughs> Shit, nigga, what shit? We gonna talk about, uh, I was listening, like I said, I was listening to the album, nigga. The album was dope, dog, but, like, it was one line you said, nigga, that stood out that you can use in any type of aspect, dog, when you was like, uh, if you ain't trying to win, what the fuck you play for? Yeah. That was the hardest song you had, nigga, to me, dog. That was my favorite song, which she understand, nigga. Like, I listen to that shit, like, about four times straight, nigga. Like, that shit touched me, nigga. Most definitely, most definitely, man. Like, you know, like, <laughs> And like that line, true as hell, nigga. Like, dog, that's that's in life, that's in sports, nigga. That's with your relationship, like, nigga. If you in this bitch, like, if you ain't trying to be the best at what the fuck you doing, what the fuck you doing it for? Yeah, and I feel like that's what make us different because you know we make songs that you know it's for everybody, man. It's for the nigga that's you know out there pushing the the, the biggest bag in the city to the nigga at the motherfucking job, mad as hell. It's a Thursday. <laughs> And he ain't got no more motherfucking PT to call off. <laughs> like, we do it for everybody, man. Nigga, hell yeah. Because like I said, that's that's a real ass line, nigga. Like, dog, niggas get lost in that shit. And like, niggas get lost in living day-to-day -day life. And nigga, like, dog, niggas ain't trying to really, like, what the fuck everybody, you do? You know, everybody ain't got a hundred pints to sell, you know? Everybody yeah. ain't, you know? <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah. Shit, you know? So I always do this shit called, like, top three, dog, as far as, like, different things. But... I'm going to do a top three on your album, dog. The top three songs on, on your album for me is uh the ones that I, is, is Will She Understand, No Regrets, and In The Field. If you had to pick your three dopest out songs on the album, what would it be? Oh, man. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, Drop Kick. Okay, yeah, that bitch was cold. Featuring me, 89 Hydro. Uh, SB. Yeah. Uh, that's definitely a banger. Um, bag in, okay. Me, eighty nine, Hydro, and um, Love Monte eighty nine. You know, I, I like that song because of the simple fact of um, we really like. It was like we went like when most niggas went right, we went left. But yeah, you know, he made niggas wanted to go left after they heard that. Like, damn, like that shit was, you know. It was crazy because, you know, I was high as hell. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, bro. I was high as fuck. <clears throat> Smoked a blunt to the head, and I was on my way to work, bro. And um, I had my headphones in, and um, I was like, man, I got we got to do something different that's going to fuck them up. Yeah. I was, it was like, you know how, like, when you be on YouTube and you just playing music, and you just go to, the, like, the ones that's got, like, maybe, like, a playlist, the songs just keep going or whatever. Yeah. So the next song was um, I'm Fucking You Tonight, Pause, by R. Kelly. Okay. Um, <laughs> by, uh, R. Kelly and um, Biggie or whatever. And um, I was like, damn. I was like, I ain't never heard nobody remix this. I'm like, what if a nigga remixed it in the hood version? Like, you know, yeah. like, they was talking, but they was talking to the ladies. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we remixed that, and um, it just went crazy. Like, it was yeah. a classic. That's, yeah, yeah. That's, and uh, shit, uh, it's a, I mean, they all classics. Bro. Yeah, it's, all, it's why this shit is like really but, hard. But that's the thing about it, though, dog. Like, like I know when some shit straight is when I want to go right myself, dog. Like, damn, I gotta go right. Like, whenever I hear a nigga, dog, Appreciate like, that. yeah, like when you hear a nigga, like, dog, this shit, this shit straight for Because a lot of times, dog. Niggas be scared to give another nigga props, like you said earlier, because like we both from Detroit, nigga. You be thinking like, all right, if I give this nigga props, he gonna he gonna blow up, and I'm I'm still here chilling. Like nigga, it's okay to play a nigga from the city shit over and over again, like how you would do a fucking Drake or a J Cole or some shit like that. Yeah, and uh, the third one I would say is um, don't break me down. 
you know. And uh, it was because it, it was like it was for everybody, but it was more for me because it was like I was talking to you know people I lost. You yeah, know? hell yeah. It, it touched home, but hell um, yeah. you know we definitely you know video coming soon for Dropkick as well as Bag In. You know, okay, like, yeah. You putting out uh, you putting out any more music this year, dog? Oh yeah, most definitely. Um, I got Who Me the EP coming out. Okay. Um, I'll be saying that in a couple months. Um, yeah. Another EP called Royal. I'm going to try to get y'all this year. Um, working on a little, you know, mixtape or whatever. I might just throw on YouTube. I'm going to get y'all that. So be looking out for that real song, you know. Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. And shit, like, dog, I know you, uh, like, when you be, when you write your music, dog, like, how you do your shit? You do your shit, you just go to the studio and vibe out, or you already had that shit ready and written down. Like, how you be going about your shit? Uh, you know, I'm more I'm more professional. You know, I when I we we all we, we always been like that. You know, the whole squad. You know, time is money. You know, what yeah, I'm saying? So, for sure. When you paying for time, you know, yeah. It, it, at, at the same time, you know, it it, it makes you more professional. Hell you know? yeah, hell yeah, dog. Yeah, looking at it like, okay, I only got X Y Z a month of hours here, so let us lock in and you know, let's run through these songs. You hell know, yeah, so hell yeah. Better when you go in there and you know your verse. You know when to breathe. You know when, okay, boom, I rap this way, I rap that way. You know what I'm saying? Get yeah. You know your ass, all that shit. Yeah, man. Well, shit, dog, like, I know you talking about your team and stuff, and y'all a family, dog, so I'm, I got to ask the question. I wrote the shit down, nigga. Like, you looking for a deal or a partnership? I know the answer. Um, we looking for, you know, I'm looking more for, like, you know, um, like a distribution deal or something like that. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because nowadays, like, dog, you, I mean, you really don't need the labels, dog, for nothing if you already building up your own buzz for real, dog. Yeah, most definitely, you know. I feel like, you know, my my squad, we strong enough for that, you know. If yeah. anything, you know, you helping us distribution-wise. Yeah. You helping us, you know, get to the masses so they can hear us. That's yeah. it. We can do the rest. Hell yeah. Now, with y'all with y'all team, with y'all, with y'all, uh, Y'all label, what's the name of y'all shit, dog? Again, I knew you said that shit earlier. Um, well, like I say, you know, it's it's eighty nine the dark side. You know, it's a movement. You know, it's it's not a label. You know, it's just a team. It's just a team. That's all. Okay, okay. Now they say this shit, dog. Mine is the, mine is your team, dog. I know you grew up. I know you watched making the band before, right? Yeah. I'm all right. So old. mine is your team. If you have a, a band, four people, yourself included. Who gonna be the other three niggas on your team, dog? I can't pick nobody from the squad. Just, just, just hyper. This, just, just oh, some shit. Okay. All right. That's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> we already know you. We already know you ran with the squad, but just hypothetically, like some niggas, like it could be like some, you know, with me, my team. I said some shit like I had T Pain because he's gonna be on the hook. You feel me? I mean, I don't know. My answer, like I really can't. Like I never really thought that far. Like mm -hmm. you know, like. I feel you. I was gonna squad with somebody else. Like I don't yeah. know the bitches, you know. <laughs> I'm about to be squatting. Like, oh, yeah, really? I feel you. I feel you, though. I ain't shit wrong with that, dog. Shit. Who's some uh? Who's some underrated rappers as far as like in the industry, dog? That you feel don't get no respect? That's dope for real. Us. Thrax <laughs> <laughs> gang, Ghoulie gang. Yeah. 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 Yeah, but uh, no, uh, somebody that's hot that don't get a lot of. Like, it, it ain't gotta be nobody from Detroit. Like it could be like like a rapper nigga. Like to me, I know niggas don't know this nigga dog. He a young nigga named YBN Corday. He kind of like a young J Cole for the little niggas. He only like twenty years old. Okay, okay. A nigga dope, like, but you know, sometimes shit niggas don't. He won't get that love for real. Yeah. Um. Uh, shit. Trying to think, shit. I really don't be listening to the little, little niggas, man. They be signing, yeah. nigga. Yeah, they sound saying nigga overall. Like, cause to me, we was just talking about that shit, dog. Like, how everybody got that new rapping singing style. Like, that yeah. shit. That everybody's trying to do that shit now, dog. Everybody. But I had to pick one nigga, man. Dirt, dog. Dirt, man. Little dirt, dirt cold, man. nigga. Dirt cold. He go nuts, man. Like, dog. My mom. I wasn't even fucking with him, dog. My little bro put me on. Then I started listening to him, like nigga, nigga cold. Yeah, he, he consistent as fuck. That's why I look for, you know, artists that's consistent. Yeah. 
That's what it's all about. I yeah. fuck with uh, what's name? He don't, he ain't pushed it out in the in a while, but he from Chicago, Chicago too. Uh, Bibby. Like I said, um, like I really don't be listening to me. Yeah. Hell no. Shit, dog. I like I like King Von too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I I I heard him just on um, listening to dirt shit. Like, yeah, he's straight for real. He's straight too, dog. Shit, nigga. Like with this whole uh Corona shit, dog. What's the first? What's the first thing you gonna do once we can go outside, nigga, for real and nigga fuck around? Like, what's the first thing you want to do? Like, nigga, I gotta do this shit first. Shit, man. Drop videos. Drop. <laughs> Hell I yeah. Mean, that do this, but something I really want to do is just get back. To, you know, start performing, man. Hell hit the yeah. booth, you know what I'm saying? Hit the booth like we used to, you know, because through the quarantine, you know, <laughs> certain, you know, it's rules, you know. Nigga, for real, though. I miss that shit, dog. Like, I've been, nigga, I've been thinking about getting my own little studio hookup for the crib, dog. I've been so bored, nigga. Yeah. But, you know, I'm I'm still rocking with the same niggas I started with. So, you know, yeah. you know, SB, you know, he number one with it. That's all yeah. I fuck with. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Right. Well, shit, staying on that shit, dog. Make uh, make a uh, a serious matter, kind of funny and shit, dog. I got this one shit, dog, for the whole Corona shit. Like, if it was only five items you could have, we was on lockdown for two weeks, dog. What you got to keep? What your what your must you got to have in possession, dog? Weed, lunch, <laughs> food. Oh shit! My phone. For sure, gotta have that. See, it's like five is fucked up because I need like it's like it's like part one, part two. Like I need the, like the the TV and I need my motherfucking um Xbox One. Like, <laughs> Hell yeah, nigga! What what you be on that motherfucking dog? You two K nigga or what? Call of Duty? I play it all, man. That shit. That Call of Duty, that shit nuts, man. I've been playing that shit. That hey, my shit cousin nuts. been telling me to get on that shit hard, dog. I've been just I'm all two K. Like I'm just starting to back playing the game, dog. So I'm on two K heavy. That's it. You know, I only play that shit when I'm with the squad, man. Yeah. All right, nigga, like, stay on the, on the five things, dog. You can only have five movies and TV shows. What the, what you watching, dog? Damn. Uh, ESPN. Yeah. Uh, shit. Gotta have, like, HBO. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh Shit, speaking of ESPN, they about to drop that motherfucking uh, Chicago Bulls doc tonight, dog. Part one, two. Yeah, that's that motherfucker. Gotta go check that out. That's gonna be dope. That's yeah, yeah. Be. Michael Jordan said, "Nigga, after you watch this shit, you might think he a bad guy after this for real." Come <laughs> <laughs> on, oh, man. You know. Oh shit. BT. Shit, the news, man. Um, Fox two. Shit, yeah. I gotta, See, I um, watch that shit, but nigga, that shit be having niggas going crazy, dog. My girl man. dad be calling me every day, nigga, like, nigga, that nigga stressing the fuck out over this shit, bro. Uh, it's just really, you know what I'm saying, it's mind over matter, man. You got to just siphon through the bullshit, and, you know. Man, that you nigga went crazy. It's too late for that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> for real. Oh. See, yeah, all right, well, see, I got another thing, dog, towards the end, dog. Call, it's called Top 3, man. Give me your, uh, your, I got a couple of choices, dog. Your Top 3 Chicks, dog. As far as what? Like, like chicks, you you be like nigga double tapping like a motherfucker on Instagram, nigga. <laughs> Celebrity chicks, like you know, chicks you grew up, fuck, you know, what I'm saying, damn, like Ashanti for me, Ashanti, Ashanti, like one of the bad chicks, dog. Um, I'm trying to think, shit. <laughs> um. <laughs> but shit, we could do, we could do a uh, nigga top. Chick I like, I like. like I, I watch, I, um, I follow Juju, you know, the one I used okay, to talk yeah. to Karen Ryan. You know, she be making power moves and shit, man. You hell know, she yeah, do a lot of shit yeah. to uplift the black, black women. So whenever you, yeah. you know, uplifting the black women, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? For real, for real, nigga, for real. Oh, she can hear me? Damn, shit, fucking up a little bit. Hey, I'm about to, what's name? I'm about to, uh, get off, nigga.
All right, yeah. man, I hear you now. We good. Yeah, I was saying, um, yeah, Juju, man, she um, she do a lot for the black women, you know. Yeah. Need that shit, dog. Real powerful. Yeah, we do need that, man. Need you a know. lot of that shit, dog. Motherfuckers be thinking, because you show a little ass, but you be dumb as fuck, nigga. I ain't going to get you nowhere. <laughs> Most definitely. For so, real. Uh, um, Queen Latifah, you know. The truth. You know, she just spent 16 I'm on case like shit was cold. Yeah, she be spitting. She be spitting. She be spitting. And, um... Uh, I listen to Rocky Bad. You know, she each way artist and she 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 be spitting. Yeah, so. she dope, nigga. She dope. She on the hoop shit. Who your top three hoopers, nigga? Your favorite hoopers? Um, man, LeBron most definitely. Okay, sure. that's my guy. Yeah, been, been going crazy, man. You yeah, know? I, I be you know me and the squad, we be in the arguments over that shit. Dog. I ain't the big LeBron fan. I'm just happy that nigga on my team right now, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. I, he, 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 you know, I, I fucks with him, man. You know, he, he get niggas involved, man. Hell yeah, nigga. Like, I say, like, nigga, that's why I like comparing that nigga to Jordan, dog. He a different, he a different, he, we way different from Jordan. You feel me? He ain't that type of nigga to even co compare him to. No, it ain't. it's two different eras, man. Yeah, yes. it's, it's, it's two different type of players, too. Yeah, but, um, uh, Giannis, Giannis you know, that motherfucker cold. Reason, you know, like I ain't gonna even lie, I'm not a Giannis fan, but you know, hoodie, you know, hoodie, you know, my my dog hoodie fuck with him, and um, by you know him putting me up on his stats and stuff like that, you really see like you no, sit back, dog. this nigga, it's like he he that he that he, he who the fuck number one, and nigga be going crazy, bro. Like, Hell yeah, nigga, man, that nigga be dog, that nigga cold, dog. <laughs> The scary part is he only getting better. And a nigga young, he going like 24, 23. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who your um, third? My third. Um, shit. If I had to pick anybody, my third would probably be, uh, shit. Uh, Lines are a little bit. Angelo Ball, man. I know he ain't gonna <laughs> see. Bro, that little man, that, that boy nice. He gonna oh, be nice. Oh, you LaMelo? LaMelo. The, the yeah, youngest that one. That... Dog. Nigga like six eight, dog. A point guard. That boy gonna be nice, man. I be, dog, I ain't gonna lie, dog. At first, my son, my son 13, dog, he was telling me like, Dad, LaMelo gonna be cold. I'm like, yeah, right. That nigga ain't, man, hell no. But then I watched that nigga, though, over the years, like, he gonna be nice, bro. He gonna be the best one out of all of them. I mean, because you gotta really, like, think further than the open mind. Like, you know, he, he was a little nigga, like, 13, 14, playing with, and his dad, Lee. His yeah. dad, Lee, was, was rejects from, you know, the, <laughs> uh, from the league and shit. <laughs> he grown-ass men playing with, though. Yeah, for me? sure. For sure. kid that, that went through all college and went to the draft, and they just was undrafted. Nigga, and he, the was business. Them guys, he was giving them guys employment. Like, come play for my league. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, he got his kids in the league. So they, yeah. they playing against grown men night in, night out. Yeah, then, yeah. He went over, then he went overseas. So now he playing with grown men, but he playing with grown men that done play at a championship caliber. So yeah, now he yeah, learned yeah. he learning young how to play like a champion. Hell yeah. That nigga gonna be nice. I, w I hope the Pistons can get his motherfucking ass, dog. Man, they um we need, we need a point guard shit. Yeah, we need one, man. Most definitely. Um, All right. we need Jesus for real, for real. Man, dog. <laughs> All right, dog. We always end it off, dog, on a drunk moment or a high moment, dog. Give me a story when you was fucked up, dog, and this shit nigga shit went left or whatever. Oh man, one night, man, it's me, it's me, AP, Rob, and we was deep as hell, man. We um went to this club or whatever. Now, before we get there, I done drunk like a whole bottle of rose. I done smoked like two blunts to the head because don't nobody else smoke but me. So yeah, I'm okay. blowing. <laughs> so we get in there, cause oh he. He 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 on tip. He like fuck it. He he buy a bottle. 
He buys shots like fuck it. But now, mind you, mind you, I've been drinking brown the whole time. <laughs> yeah, white and a, and some brown. Damn, I'm young as hell. I'm like fuck it, man. You on yolo? You only live once. I didn't drink <laughs> both. Man, I'm talking about I'm blacked out in the club, bro. Like dog. like dog. When I woke up, bro, I was at the crib with one sock on with the jewels on. Like, how the fuck did I get to the crib, bro? Like, dog. That shit, I ain't had that shit happen to me, nigga. Fucking around. Remember them four locos, dog? Oh, man. Nigga, I'm missing four locos with 1800, dog. You're a warrior. Nigga, <laughs> I ain't threw up in my nigga. I, I threw up in my nigga ride, dog. I had to call apologize to this nigga, dog. <laughs> nigga, I wake up, nigga. I got my own crib, dog. I got my own spot with my girl, nigga. I wake up in my mama crib, nigga. Wake up ass naked with her phone, nigga. I'm dead. Like, nigga, my, nigga, I had bust my head, nigga. Like, dog, I wake up and don't know shit, bro. So, nigga, I mean, oh, bitch, these niggas told me I'm picking up my, I'm, I'm picking up somebody in the club. We bumping the DJ booth, like, dog. I was, I, nigga, I was clowning. Oh yeah, you was, you was in the field for real, dog. Get the yard line. <laughs> nigga, that's why I say that full local. That shit was some powerful shit. Then, nigga, on top of that, <laughs> I, I drunk a can and a half, dog. I'm yeah. sitting here drinking 1800, dog. Like, man, nigga, that that was a night, nigga. Like, man, that shit was crazy, that bro. Loco was, that for local was a demon in the cup, bro. Nigga, they still got that shit out, though. You go to certain stores, you will still see that shit, bro. Man, I ain't fucking with it, dog. I'm good. Man, I feel you, man. Well, shit, man. I appreciate you being on this bitch. Like I said, this shit gonna be on YouTube and Spotify, wherever you can stream podcasts, dog. Get a nigga some information okay. about you, dog, as far as like. Yo, album, where you can find the album at? Yo, uh, yo, yo, social media names. Um, you can find so far so good. Um, Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, um, uh, YouTube, everything. Um, you can find me on um, Facebook at Cashflow Kevo, K E S H L L O K E V O. Um, you can find me on Instagram at K E K A S H F L O underscore K-E-V-O. That's K-A-S-H-F-L-O underscore K-E-V-O. Yeah, man. Yeah, make sure I go listen to this nigga album. That bitch is cold, dog. Like, I ain't gonna lie, nigga. And then I ain't gonna be that type of nigga who just, nigga, listen to a nigga shit once. Like, nigga, your shit gonna be in a rotation, nigga. For real, for real. Oh, definitely. I appreciate I know my nigga that. Prince, dog. My nigga Prince, what up, dog? That nigga went to school shit, nigga, with me, dog. Oh, yeah, man. That's my guy, man. Yeah, that's the homie, man. All right, man. See, I appreciate you, dog. Like I said, nigga, I'm going to tap in. Once this Corona show with dog, got to get a feature from you, dog, for my spit. Most definitely. Most definitely, man. Tap in with me, man. For sure, for sure, dog. Shit, nigga. Stay up, nigga. Stay Corona-free, nigga. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, yeah, dog. Holla at you, boy. For sure. And, yeah, like I said, all my people who follow me, go follow uh, Cash Flow Kevo. All, all his people, come follow me, man. Everybody be safe. Peace out.